What up, top fanboys and fangirls? Fatal of course here, and this is a reaction video to a death battle. And the new one hasn't come out yet, so I'm deciding to go through the recent, recent death battles and look up, watch some old ones I haven't seen yet. Um, this one, oh my god, it's Goku versus Superman. This is gonna be awesome. I know, I know much about, I know a lot about Goku, I know a lot about Superman, because I watched them, I watched them since, I watched Dragon Ball Z since I was a little girl. I've seen, heart, I, as well, of watching Superman cartoons and stuff as a little girl. I know a lot about them, especially a bit about, especially about the new abilities and stuff they acquired this, this, in this century, around the I'm like talking about like what happened when Goku first had had the battle against the gods, activating. Yeah, and then you got the new two going on. Yeah, so and I'm get I don't know if this is gonna be is it I don't know which version is it going to cover those yet those or not. So one way to find out this is Goku versus Superman. Screw attack death battle. Let's play. Yeah, we'll do a Power Ranger reaction, but something's going on with my, with my family's Netflix account, so. Oh, that is true. Dude, was that Superman from uh, Superman Justice League War or something like that? Screw Attack presents in collaboration with Kevin. Oh, collaboration with all these networks that they did research on. It's not Master Cox. It's just some random guy. Animation by Jordan. Like, oh yeah, the guy makes epic theme music by Synthetic Orchestra. Written, hosted by Ben Singer, Chad James. Directed by Ben Singer. Go Go versus Super Ben Singer. Chad Oh, Wizard Boomstick. Yeah. Oh, Dragon Ball! He's a Saiyan. They eat a lot. Because they're a warrior, so they eat a lot. High metabolism. Duh. Yeah, I recognize the theme in the background here. I'm trying to find it on iTunes so I can get it. Oh! Yo, that's the most popular liner. Dude, is that Trunks?
Is that cool? So was that cooler or Frieza? Spare bomb, oh yeah. Solar flare. Seen that. Spare bomb, yeah, it's, that's a very powerful technique, dude. And Dragon Fist, oof. Yes! It means terrible destruction wave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was one of the kids that tried to do the Kamehameha. You don't know how many times I wish I could build up key and did that. Instant transmission. Oh, fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I just remember something. He's battling Superman. Superman he has a weakness to magic. Nimbus! Yes! Oh, there's a video somewhere on the internet of a guy cosplaying as Goku, and he turned his, uh, so called the so called hoverboard into a Nimbus. He went around, he went around on his, the, his local in a uh, city as Goku riding, nim, riding Nimbus. Oh my god, that was awesome! Uh. You guys hail back, bitches. <laughs> Wiz. No way, that was Boomstick joking. My bad. Sorry, Wiz. Sorry, Boomstick. So that's pr it's pretty much like a... That's pretty much the same in in Snake's take him. Seriously?
Yo, that's my man of steel. Hal El was born to a high class scientist on the planet Krypton. He narrowly escaped the destruction of his home world when his father sent him to Earth with the goal of preserving the Smallville. Yo, this is like from the Superman movies. Yo, that was from Superman Returns. I love that movie. Yeah, he's a Kryptonian. Kryptonian. This is Kryptonian D DNA. So, so if it was a red sun, he would still be alien, but more, but he would be pretty much a human, like a human. The, what? What the fuck? Okay. So you see the flash. What? What? What the fuck? Okay. Heat vision. Yo, that dude, that's Peter Routh, right? From Man of Steel? No, not Man of Steel. Uh, Superman Returns. Yeah, he, he's. He lives Ray Palmer in DC's Legends of Tomorrow and Arrow in DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, I don't, I don't know the name of this movie, but I heard of it and seen, I seen glimpses of it. I never got a chance to watch it all. What? What? In comparison, this is the Czar, the most powerful bomb mankind has ever tested. 50 megatons. So that's punching like 200 septillion super nukes. That's 24 zeros, bitches. Superman is Damn. A but a genius with a super brain that can process information thousands of times. Oh, so he could pretty much outwit Goku then. What? He's even learned how to what? His mind from telepathic attacks. I heard your telepathic shout before, but my mind is protected from anything deeper by a series of psychic blocks. Best I've seen, too. He also studied two Kryptonian what? martial arts, Torquazum Rao and Torquazum Fo. Torquazum what now? Torquazum Rao is a hard martial art in which Superman enters the Thanos state, a real-life phenomenon in which a person becomes extremely receptive to information in an instant. Torquazum Fo is a mental martial art. Oh, I get it. Plants. Yeah, I get it.
what? Seriously. Alright guys, the guy's hurrying up to the ground of the background. Dude, was that dark seed? Oh, Smallville, when he was first in, uh, Doomsday. Except there are times that you just can't. Sometimes there are, there are occasions that he just can't avoid for having the city destroyed. Yo, that was something from Injustice, God Among Us. Classic Superman game right there. Oh, they took like a scene from a, a, one of the Superman cartoons. <laughs> Meanwhile, with the Z fighters. Really, Vegeta. Transforming Hedgehog. Oh, yeah, the de that was a reference to Vegeta versus Shadow. When the de I'll definitely check out that death battle later. Oh no. Oh no, really dude? Goku is definitely not that bright if he's jumping to conclusions that quickly. I'm like really here with him, truly for anticipation. Anticipation here. Yeah, there's Lex Corp. Key blast. Oh, punches them right off Nimbus. Well, Goku's not doing all our fright soups. Sorry, but I love both you guys. I, mean, I love both Goku and Superman anyway. So. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, pressure point. Oh, he's using his keys, telekinesis power abilities. What is that? beans. Dude, why did you destroy the beans? Oh, 
going Super Saiyan Goku! Oh, now Super's getting his ass beat. It's in transmission. Shit, oof. Oh, here it is. Come ah! Oh, this, the blue rays Lex, Lex Corp too in the process. Tonight. He starts like right away to be first attack. Superman could see speed, right? Yeah. Is that Super Saiyan 2 Goku? I can't tell. Oh, the magic stick. It's the magic stick. Like I said earlier, Soup's Goku is not really that bright, but I love him. He's awesome. Oh, he's concentrating on Superman's location where he's going to show up, and then boom. Oh! The scene where many Dragon Ball Z fights take place. Oh, shit. And there goes the magic stick. Oh shit. Oh, Super Saiyan 3! Super Saiyan 3! Dude, he's like killing his body when he's in this mode. What the fuck? Oh yeah, he's not really... Superman's pretty strong against strong telepathy. Okay, not really a smart idea. That was not a smart idea, because his powers came from... Superman's powers come from the sun. So Solar Flare and Iron Grape Oh, uh, Super Saiyan 4! Oh my god, I can't give up. Holy shit. Oh, able to get through the ice breath. Huge key blast right in the face. Oh boy.
Evangelion versus Kamehameha. Oh, fuck. And right into the sun. Wait. The sun doesn't really affect Superman, does it? Oh, go, it goes back to normal. He's still, yep, he senses him still alive. No still alive. Kryptonian DNA, sun. bitches. You may be a set, you may have set in DNA, Goku. Set, yeah, yeah, set in energy and the spirit bomb, but. Spirit bomb, but, uh. Well, Superman, he's Kryptonian, his body acts with the sun. And he's, wait, and what I remember something, oh my god, there's something about this sphere of bond I, I can't just recall, I can't recall, because I swear, I swear, King Kai mentioned something about the sphere of bond. Oh shit, here it comes. Oh shit, collision course. Oh shit. Oh, fuck! Right into the core of the Earth. Here comes Dragon Fist, and... Oh. Oh, shit! Superman just supernova punched in Goku Dragon... He's Dragon Fist. Oh shit, is Superman alive? The Earth's gone, Goku is gone, and Super's still alive! It's over! It's finally over! The strength, speed, and toughness. Durability, okay. So you guys are in the present day. It's okay.
Really boomstick. Damn. We can determine Goku's durability through this bomb, which the brilliant Dr. Shiro designed to kill Goku at age 25, when his maximum potential was Kaioken times 4. That was intended for Goku. It was intended to be a last resort. Games of the bomb display a TNT measurement of 657. Loma says the bomb could destroy the Earth, so this is likely measured in quadrillion megatons. Since it takes at least 50 quadrillion megatons of force to destroy the Earth. So, in his final form, Goku can survive up to nearly 35 sextillion megatons. Damn. Goku doesn't rely solely on his physical ability. He amplifies his strength and durability with ki. But even though his ki reserve cannot be measured, we can determine his maximum output. You see, his ki attacks do not force him backward unless he allows them to. Even when firing upward at full power, the ground beneath him remains untouched. Therefore, according to physics, his maximum output is at most equal to the amount of force he can withstand. Luckily, okay. we just calculated that with the Zero Bomb. All right, now that we've determined Goku's maximum potential, let's compare it to Superman. Holy shit! Not even close! Yeah. Superman is... He is... is completely, totally... OP. More OP than Goku. Okay, that was Goku versus Superman. Sorry about the music in the background right now, because that would be my little sister. Anyway, um, like I said, like I keep reminding you guys in my other video, my previous videos, my room's not soundproof. I don't have the money or time to soundproof the room as well as having permission to do that. Anyway, so yeah, Superman whooped Goku's ass. Goku's ass, and, uh, I guess even though he's Superman's stronger, is stronger, more durable, and probably faster than Goku, most likely fa mostly faster than Goku. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, not to. Goku had actual education. Goku. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Sorry, gosh, he's just. I'm getting really annoyed now. Anyway, I'm just I'm gonna wrap this up really quick before I get way too annoyed. Um. Yeah. So since Go so Superman was much smarter than Goku, since Goku did not have a proper education, he just pretty much learned everything when he just needed to know basically to survive and fight. So in other words, Superman it was is more OP than Goku. And. That, and that's it, there is to it. So, thank you so much for watching. Watch out. And if you want to watch any more, if you want to watch this battle for yourself, click in this, look in the description view box down below and you'll see the link to the video which I'll be posting. Which I'll be posting momentarily. And if you want to check out any more of my death battle reaction videos as well as any all the other reaction, reaction videos I've been doing, Click on my name below the description box, and if you like what you see and or you want to be kept up, kept up to date, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, Bam Forcer, 
out.